hello guys welcome back to as learning so guys in this video we will see the interview experience with delot company and this interview was totally pure based on core java only the experience required for this uh, position was around 4 to 6 years and the salary offered was in the range of 14 to 16 lpa so let's start first question uh, what is static block and initialization block in java so static blocks is a block that will call or executed once uh, like we uh, load the class into java memory so it will call before the main method only and it doesn't matter wherever you write a static block like before or after main method it will call once the class is loaded and initialization block is the block which will initialize before the constructors are invoked so order this static block will execute first then initialization block and then constructor next question was it was a given string s equal to interview and then in next line we are assigning new value to s variable that is s equal to delete so what will be the output of third line means uh, system dot out dot print ln s so it will print uh, the s value as delete because uh, due to immutability nature immutability nature we cannot change the state of the like string but we can change the content by uh, operating some op means assigning some operations so in mutable nature with only uh, restrict the uh, asked by uh, for changing the state of the that string object next question is between uh, difference between sleep and weight so one uh, main difference between sleep and weight is that the weight releases the lock as a, as uh, fast as it can and sleep doesn't releases the lock once it acquires so another difference is that uh, you will uh, see sleep whenever it call uh, it will pause the and hold the ex execution of that particular program for a particular time but wait will wait for the re uh, log to re, re acquire and resources to be available next question is the good ways what are the good ways to use collections so there are multiple things like whenever you declare the collection so just try with some para if just check if it can be declared with some uh, performance based parameters or not because of uh, perform because of parameters the performance may vary for example in the case of hash map so whenever you declare hash map with default value and you are dealing with some high volume data so just make sure that default value will uh, be working with those high volume data or not and if it is not then you can just change the parameter by passing argument it so just make sure while declaring the collection make use of uh, make use as it is required for the volume of data or it is handling next question find first repeating character from the string this was a based on java coding question so in this question you can take the help of hash map and then you can take uh, declare hash map of string or uh, instead of string you can just use character comma integer then count each of the occurrence of each letter then while traversing the hash map just make sure whenever the count will you will get the first count uh, first value as a one just break the, the uh, for loop so in this way you will find the first repeating character next question is write code to mock java method so here you can use the concept of junit and mockito framework and just uh, make sure you are adding uh, all the annotation like add the rate before add the rate taste then add the rate uh, uh, mock or init mock annotation so we have to write mock uh, means uh, junit test class for that particular java class and mocking that method using add the rate taste annotation next question was which design patterns you have used so in this question you have to uh, de like provide the information of what are the design pattern has been used in your project so it can be any singleton factory or any specific design pattern which you are using in a current project so just go through your project architecture and make sure that you know what uh, de design pattern you have used next question is uh, what is where you have used a uh, singleton pattern in your project so if the singleton pattern is used, you know, is used in your project then describe him about all the details so one case which i can tell is that we have used singleton in the concept of uh, creating a database connection only once per applications if instance is null then only we are creating new database objects so in such way we are uh, saving the database or object cost and ultimately the memory consumption will be low next question in which scenario you have used factory design pattern so if you have used factory design pattern just then describe 
with all the details next question is what is the difference between aggregation and association so aggregation is typically you can term it as a which is having has a relation has a relationship and association is a relationship between two objects while aggregation we can define or denote it uh, by using diamond symbol and association we can define it using arrow symbol and aggregation is a type of association one of the type of association while association does not depend on aggregation so these are all the questions which were asked in round one of Deloitte and that was purely based on Code Java. So I hope you will uh, like it and if you have any doubt then please comment down. That's it from this video. Thanks and have a nice day.